I don't know if this is going to work or not, but, uh... I don't know. What am I doing? What the hell did that just do? I didn't move nothing. Oh, there goes my phone. Um, are those moving or are they just staying in the same spot? Let's see, plus two. So let's do plus two. What about this one? Plus five. Plus two. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Frozen on 12. I don't get it. I know this is like plus 2 and then plus 3 to move these, but... Something just opened. Where is the friggin' hint? Oh. Let's see. If I do plus two, plus three, that should hit that red one. Maybe I'm supposed to do that. Supposed to get them all out, right? Come on. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I probably just screwed it up completely. Whoa. What the hell was that noise? I don't... Hell, man, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do here? Like, there's nowhere else to go. Like, I'm stuck. I can go back out this way. Is there a book that I missed? All for the best. What? I've been here for eight months now. In this house with a crazy old man, I was... It was a stupid dare at the time, but it was certainly worked out for the best. I think the pay is wonderful. I'll be able to retire so much earlier than I anticipated and the work isn't too hard. I don't like the house or the old man. I don't know. Maybe I'm dreaming but I can hear things at night. I sleep on the third floor and I think it's coming from the basement but I can't tell. It may be coming from the next room or the attic. I just can't tell and I don't know if I'm actually hearing anything. The old man is also giving me the creeps. He keeps trying to find me or ringing for me at all times and all he ever wants is to sit down and talk. 
I have better things to do, and lately I've noticed him just following me around the house as I go about my duties. Jessica was right about the position being too good to be true, but I'll show her I will stick it out from for, for the next four months. Who knows, I might last longer. The pay is certainly tempting. Okay, but so far, no friggin' hints as to what the hell this friggin' clock room is about. Like, is there no way to reset this? Because I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. Where's that light coming from? Underneath me? Yeah, it is too. Holy fucking up with the friggin' crap. Oh my god, what the hell? Something just... Oh my god, come on. What? I'm almost there? Ah, oh, figures. Holy crap. Screw it. Alright. So, where does this lead anyway? It's just a hallway, and it's got a bunch of crap in front, so it's not important anyway, so screw it. Um, I don't know why I was dicking around with that for so long, but... Definitely not worth it. Okay, and there was another way up somewhere, right? Where the hell was it? Was I not... I guess just have to go back down. Whatever. Down we go. Sure, why not? these doors sometimes. Alright, dining hall. It's a big friggin' dining hall. Alright. So this one's called Paintings. I just can't believe that after two days in this house, nobody other than me, my, or other than myself, has noticed that the same exact paintings are repeated around the house. I bet it's because nobody wants to even glance at the paintings. They're all so substantially creepy. One is a picture of a Gordon of Gordon's young pal from World War II. Well, it's a picture of him on his deathbed, his face covered by a gas mask that was glued to his head. Another is a picture of Gordon's brother, an equally creepy man who disappeared around age 34. It seems Gordon also loved pictures of skulls and roses. Such an odd man. I don't understand why I keep hearing crap. Yeah, gold blocks. Just a bunch of random junk again. That is down there. More junk. I don't even know why it gives you weapons and stuff because, like, there's no mobs to fight at all. Darker. Some evenings I come to the this banquet hall and watch the shadows creep across the table. This mansion has many shadows. The thick trees surrounding the front yard blocks much of the light making it seem like eternal twilight. Grandpa was a liking, had a liking to exotic plants throughout the dense forest are trees from all over the world, oaks, redwoods, palm trees, and so on. There's a clearing in a certain, or in the center of the forest lined with stones in circular patterns and small, 
and a small fireplace. I love retreating there when the mansion starts to fall into gloom. It's the only place that doesn't send chills down my spine. And there I watch the exotic trees grapple for the remaining sunlight, growing taller and taller by the day. The shadows casting over the mansion become darker and darker. The shadows creeping over the table become larger and larger, and the floors of the Labrauer mansion grow colder and colder. Where did I get that from? Right there. Let's take this with me, too. More freaking pocket watches. Gives a shit about pocket watch. A study. Back to the study again. This time it's lit up though. Oh. Let's go back in there because I don't think we're supposed to leave here yet. Uh, another doorway there. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go down here. Freaking chess everywhere. Enemy of man. By Julie. What? By who? Julie. Julia Mild? Who the hell's that? I cannot say it enough. Butter is horrible. My rival and cousin. Who I shall not name here uses butter in everything. Her catchphrase, more butter, it's horrible. Butter is one of the worst things for you. Olive oil is a reasonable substitute, but there is no reason to add butter to everything. Who else adds a stick of butter to a bowl of crutch flakes? If you only get one thing out of this cookbook, get this. Butter is the enemy of man. That being said, let's go on to the recipe. No butter pancakes. These wonderful pancakes are just like other pancakes, but without butter. Easy to prepare, and unlike many other things without butter, easy to eat. Dan, I'd better not read any more of this. I'm getting a headache already. Yeah, cool. Glad I didn't have to read a huge novel. Distance. I still understand why Gordon built his mansion five miles away from any other sign of life. Gordon loved being alone, but surely he didn't need five miles of thick forest between his mansion and the highway. The overgrown winding gravel road is v uh, very difficult to, f to see from the highway, as if he didn't want any visitors. The more I think about the location of the mansion, the more it freaks me out. At least it's more spacious than a two-room apartment we used to have. It's quite awkward to fit six people. It's such a small place. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning. I got 24 of them so far. Oh, look at that. Cooked meat. What the hell? Second ancient coin. First, first, second, and third. Look at that. I think I had a fourth one somewhere too, didn't I? I can't remember. I thought it was supposed to be the gold lined paintings that were special. Okay, that's where I came down. So, let's open the door. Oh, and we're back in this hallway again. Great. Important. Is there anything else that I'm supposed to be looking for? Nah, I probably have to go to back to the front door. Maybe that... I think I opened that top foyer one, didn't I? 
open this up, right? Yeah, I did. I just, I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. This is great. Uh, dining hall. Yeah, I'm back up to the dining hall. The study. Which I've already been in. I might have to look at a cheat sheet for this because I don't know where I'm supposed to be going now. Lounge. Yeah, I've already been here too. So I've been everywhere. Have I been everywhere? I'm not sure. already around both sides too, wasn't I? I know I wasn't. So let's go this way. I'm not I can't remember if there was a way over there, was there? There was this and then you go up like this and was there anything over here? Nothing. So that's the side we haven't gotten to yet. Could have swore that'd be something. Oh. No, don't need that. How do I get over to that side? Yeah, I don't know. Need that though. Twenty two. Only twenty two so far out of a hundred. That is pretty weird. I have a feeling the way to the other side is probably on this side of the house, but I haven't found it yet. I don't think. I don't think I've been on that side. Yeah, I already read all that. The twins room. This should lead over to that spot. I don't understand why the floor is gold though. Maybe there's no way over. Yeah, let's just go downstairs, I guess. Is there anything else over here that I missed? Nope, not over there. What about that? Nope. They were talking about some kind of forest, right? Is there not a way through here now? Like, what's going on? Am I supposed to be over here? No. 
I am not supposed to be over here. Those are iron block or iron doors. <sighs> Is there no way to go anywhere? Like, where else am I supposed to go? I'm friggin' horrible at this crap. Like, I should be able to find my way through this place without getting lost. Okay, let's go upstairs. And then let's go this way. This one's open. It's the dining hall. That's the study. Let's go this way, then. What's this way? Like Eva's room. I've already been in here. Maybe go back to my room. That can't be right, though. There's got to be... Gotta be something. Look at all the pathways. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even bother going in here. Anything in here? <laughs> Bathrooms. Okay. I'm very confused. Gorn placed this m the mansion's bathrooms in some of the most inconvenient places of all time. There are only three bathrooms in the entire house. One in the guest room, one in Eva's room, one in the maid's room. Apparently the plumbing was designed after everything else was already built. Sounds like typical Gordon to me. I'm curious though. Why are all the bathrooms in the back right of the of each floor? There has to be a reason, but Gordon's old blueprints show nothing. Why couldn't he have placed the bathrooms in more convenient places? All right. Cool. All right, I'm going to have to call it quits for today, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later.